set me free. Spectres are the first ones we call. You know, when anything happens, it's the spectres, and um, they are the boys, and it's the brotherhood of the spectres. Or it, it still amazes me that the number of people in a band can get along together, and there's there's actually no rifts between any two individuals, no matter how you slice it. And I think I think everybody's kind of gotten some wisdom in the years that have gone by, and that's probably something we never had at the beginning. Too young. In 1964, when I was living in Georgia, my parents drove me up to New Hampshire. And in the fall, there was a week before school opened called freshman camp. And I had been playing guitar for two years, and I was in a kind of camp hut that, that some of the guys were staying in. And I remember sitting on the bed playing my guitar. And I was having a trouble with a chord, and this guy came over from down the end of the hut, and he said, uh, I think you want to put such and such a chord in there. I said, you know, I've been doing that, but it just doesn't feel right. And he said, well, that's the chord you want to use. And I said, okay, thanks. So I went on. Uh, and it wasn't until about a month later, as the Spectres had formed, including Dick Ray, that we had realized that Dick and I were the ones that had that initial conversation. I think it was a lot of uh, contact from the, the university functions that we played, whether it was fraternity houses or at the student union. I think it was just kind of word of mouth and, and um, some of the local club owners had heard about the group. I think that's how we got off campus and started working in you know, some of the go-go clubs of the time. Nineteen sixty nine was probably the best summer that we had as a group. The uh, horns were wailing away. Everybody was tight on their instruments. We had good songs. We were doing our recordings uh, during the day and playing at night. The album was com coming along well. We had a couple of singles out. Um, best years of our lives was doing very well in the local area, and I believe even did appear on Billboard somewhere in the, in the chart there. Uh, I think under new releases or, or some category like that. And I think everybody's gotten to the point where you understand what the real important things are and what the not so important things are and you can distinguish family but before you know these days will lie in the past just another I'm just glad that everybody was able to continue. And I'm, I'm very surprised that it went from just that one night into 17 more years. I, I thought that was amazing. I couldn't believe we got more gigs just on that one gig that night. Take it real slow, baby. Just let it take you, baby, where you want it. 
go. When we played at the casino this summer, it brought back a lot of memories. Um, the sound of the room, the number of people that a place like that can hold, uh, appearing with a well-known big-name band as we had in years past. And it was almost as if the time had only stood still momentarily. It didn't seem like it was that that long in between the last show there and that show. I knew it wasn't going to be that because when we had the first night of rehearsal, when we all met at Hawkins' house, I hadn't seen Odie in probably 15 years, 20 years. And when I got there, he was there, but he was bald. <laughs> and I, I was used to like this guy with black hair, you know, looked like George Harrison, and then there's this guy. And I thought, well, maybe that's Odie's dad. <laughs> you know, and then when I found out it was out, I'm going, this is looking good. <laughs> you're going to lose that girl. Yes, yes, you're going to lose that girl. You're going to lose. Yes, yes, you're going to lose that girl. If you don't take her out tonight, she's going to change her she's mind. She's going to change her mind. And I will take her out tonight and I will treat her I'm kind. I'm gonna treat her kind. You're gonna lose that yes, girl. Yes, yes, you're gonna lose that girl. You're gonna lose. Yes, yes, she's gonna lose that girl. If you don't treat her right, my friend, you're gonna find her you're gone. You're gonna find her gone. And I will treat her right and then you'll be the lonely you're one. Not the you're gonna lose that girl. Yes, yes, you're gonna lose that girl. You're gonna lose. Yes, yes, she's gonna lose that girl. You're gonna lose. Yes, yes, you're gonna lose will always take a shot at performing. I don't think you can keep them down. And I probably, if we had a reunion when we were all 90, if, if I was still alive, I would probably be there, you know, plunking away on the bass. Unchain my heart Baby, let me be Cause you don't care So Set me free. 